Hello everybody. Um, just wanted to pop on here and do my first day of the 12 days of Christmas. And on the first day of Christmas, Stampin' Up! gave to me some free designer series paper. I was able to participate in a pre-pre-order um, for Stampin' Up! on stage attendees um, that happened last month. The the on um actually it was that Saturday of Veterans Day. Um, they had an online event, and we will be doing a live event in March with them in Houston that I am planning on going to. But I can show you, I print off my my new catalogs as soon as I can see them because I like seeing things on paper in my hands instead of um, on a screen. So I can only show you the front of the cover. So this is a new ce celebration catalog. It is a little less than two months Um starting January through February, but it's three months starting December 5th if you are a demonstrator. Um, so I got to pre-earn this last month, this paper, and then this is the new mini catalog that's starting January 4th as well. Um, and so I wanted to hop on here and do some more Love It Chop It because it is probably one of the easiest ways to make cards that wow. Um, the Stampin' Up! has such wonderful paper selections every single catalog and um, this year is no exception. So in celebration with a $50 purchase or more um, for increments of $50 or more purchases um, you can get papers, they have embellishments, they have a ribbon and they have a bunch of stamp sets um, that you can order. So this is called the Trusty Toolbox DSP and it coordinates with the stamp set um, actually a bundle um, that I did not purchase because I, I thought I have some masculine stamp sets that I could use um, from the annual catalog that I purchased last year. So I'm going to show you this paper real quick. Here's the front side. Just a bunch of tools and I'm going to be using um, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. So hammers, screwdrivers, tape measures, all kinds of tools. There's It kind of looks like the front of, um, of the big tool chest, this one does. Um, and then there's some rulers and then more tools. And then on the back side, we've got Lost Lagoon. It's kind of just like a wash. That could be used for any type of card. It's not that masculine. Some um, looks like a pegboard, but also like polka dots. So that could be very versatile. Here's some screws and nuts and bolts. Um, let's see some nuts and tops of screws kind of paper, and then another wash, and then some grid paper. Okay, so very. Um, I think this is a versatile, I always say versatile, because I feel like any pack of designer series paper, you have the ability to create many different kinds of cards for all different kinds of occasions. This one is no exception. So, I think I will stick with the tool motif, okay, and maybe, let's see, I think this would make a cute border. What's on the back of this one? The pegboard, okay. So, I think this would make a cute border the um, ruler here. So, love it, chop it. That is a term coined by the famous, one of my Stampin' Celebrities, as I call her. Um, I got to meet her in Orlando a few years ago. Actually, it's been like five years since I went to Orlando. Um, but she says, if you love your paper, chop it up and use it because it does nothing for you, for anybody to just sit on your shelf, okay? So the theory is from this six, 12 by 12 sheet, you can get six card fronts, okay? Um, so that if you have 12 pieces of paper in a pack, you get 72 pieces. So I, I chopped it in um, at four inches, okay? And then I'm gonna just do a plain mat. And so I will chop it again at five and a quarter, just like I did last night in my video. Um, and hooray for me. I figured out I have to use Business Suite to get it to do landscape. So let's see. We'll just go ahead and chop this all at one time so that I can make a couple cards with you all. Okay. So got that. And then we can chop this one. Let's see. I'm trying to think here. I'm going to go this way and do five 
and a quarter. And then four. Okay, and then like I said, you have extra pieces. So like this piece, um, let's see here. If I wanted to use the back side of this paper as like, or the front side in the inside of my card or for extra pieces, um, we'll get some ideas. Let's see how many pieces we can get from this. Four. Okay, and then this will be four again. But I want to make like a border, so let's cut this at on the line. So I'm just going to line up the edge of this ruler right here. Okay. So I've got five pieces of paper or five large mats. Okay. And I'm going to pull in, like I said, I had a stamp set that I felt like would coordinate with this, even though it's not necessarily meant to coordinate. And I've got a bunch of die, a bunch of dies that coordinate with the stamp set. It's the He's All That Clean Stamp Set. It is in the annual catalog, and you can see it has a bunch of different images. So I feel like Happy Father's Day is a really good generic one that um, that we could use that doesn't have like a set theme. But then this one kind of has like hammers and wrenches, so that kind of goes with this one. You could certainly use Hello Handsome and, and Love This Guy, and then the, the flip side, like the pegboard or the washes, the, the gray and the um, Lost Lagoon washes, you could do the Holy Smokes and then um, the grid paper, whatever. These other ones, surely would you'd be able to use those. And then this is a really good collage kind of um, stamp set, I feel like. But I, I also have the dies, and I don't know what I did with my packet of dies, but I cut all of them out um, ahead of time so that I wouldn't spend too much time on this. Hey, Melanie. Um, so these have a bunch of labels in them. And I use the something fancy dies. You could certainly use that if you have that handy or any. You could just cut out regular um, pieces of cardstock like little tr um, triangles. You could cer certainly use triangles. Um, but like a rectangle that would fit your... Um, sorry, just trying to get these. I'll just leave those in. <laughs> okay, so I have all these pieces that I die cut out. And we're probably not going to use all of them. But let me get a card base out here. I'm just going to use basic white because that's one of the coordinating colors. Okay, and we'll just start building a card together and see what I come up with with this paper. Where's my bone folder? Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to give that a good crease. And then I have the pegboard. I have, well, that one's not good. I have tools. I have this one with the pegboard on the back, and then this one has grid paper. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this one. And then, let because it has tools, let's use this um, to the man who does everything. Okay, and um, that fits on this cutout right here. So I'm going to stamp that in wherever my ink pads are. I think I got Poppy Parade. And okay. So Poppy Parade or Lost Lagoon, I'm going to go with Lost Lagoon. Okay, and this is a really juicy ink pad. I guess that doesn't look too bad, but I'm going to do my little trick here again. Smush it down. I, um, I put in a really big order and I got 50% off, so I decided to treat myself to all the new color ink pads. Um, just because I have some of them, but they're kind of old and I do need to start replacing my felt ink pads. Although I do really like the felt ink pads. Um, anyways, there we go. To the man who does everything. Maybe we can layer that. Let's see. And this is just a circle that I cut out from that same set. Okay. Can imagine that might be like a saw or something and then we'll put our ruler there and I can use this or maybe I'll use this on the top 
just to kind of break up the tools since it's a little wider. Okay, so love it, chop it, use your scraps. <laughs> I hear my daughter outside meowing like our cat. She is like, I don't know, her skill for mimicking sounds is incredible. <laughs> it's the only word I can, the nicest word I can use to describe it. Sometimes it's very annoying, but I have to give her credit. She fools me a lot of the times. I'm like, is that the cat or is that Olivia? Um, and they were just playing Mario Kart with Eric, my husband. So I was like, oh, I hope they're not going to be too loud. But then they broke up the game and now it's quiet. Except now I hear a cat meowing in the background, which I think is actually my daughter. <laughs> okay, I found some dimensionals. So I've got my panel, my strip of designer um, series paper from the off cut, and then I've got another die cut, that little circle, scallop circle kind of thing, and now I'm just putting dimensionals on. And there you have it, you've got a masculine card. Okay, and then don't neglect the inside. Okay, so I'll put this um, designer series paper here. And then no naked envelopes. So let me get an envelope out here. I might need to order some. So I think I finished my Christmas cards. Have you guys finished all your Christmas cards that you're sending out? I just need to pick a photo and print it. I don't do photo shoots. Um, I would love to one day, but I feel like our selfies are fine to send to people. <laughs> and I just print them off for like 15 cents each with a coupon at CVS. I used to print it at Costco and they don't print them anymore, which made me kind of sad, but it is what it is. All right. So how can we decorate this outside of this card? I'm kind of fumbling here. Let's just paste down this extra leftover strip here that I cut. That's fine. Okay. Nope, you didn't finish your Christmas cards yet, Melanie? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Alright, so there's our first card. And then, let's see. Let's use another piece of this. That's maybe not so... I'm going to use this one. The other side of that tool paper. And then, so we've got grid paper. I'm just going to put that on there and let's see. Maybe we'll do something collage here. There is this little corner piece, like a, what would you call this, for framing or something? Let's do one of those on each corner. Uh-oh, I've got a low battery. That's not good. So I'm hoping that I will get on here live for at least a few minutes every day to stamp. And um, I've talked to my kids and they said they would like to collaborate. <laughs> So, um, I think I'm pretty sure Olivia is going to choose that ice cream set that I posted a picture of the other day of them making. Um, they had tons of fun with that and they've already sent them out to, to different people. So if you get their card in the mail, um, I'm sure they would love it if you posted it and made them internet famous. <laughs> I don't remember who they sent them to, but I'm just kind of collaging these little stamp sets. Just randomly putting, this looks like a button. Um, anywhere, everywhere. And then we can put 
every day is an adventure with you or together for the long haul happy birthday to a classic would that go good on here let me see that'll fit on here happy birthday to a classic all right and then what can we put maybe these things what do you call these argyles let's see and of course you don't have to use die cuts you just use whatever you have right um let's see i'll put that i don't want to cover too much of this collaging so just put that right there and then we can put a banner on the back like this to make it a little more fancy And then my dimensionals. Where did I put my dimensionals? I just had them. Where did they go? Oh, they're in my stamp case. <laughs> okay. Let's put this card together and then I have to find something to put on the inside for it. But I've run out of this paper. Oh, I stamped on the inside of it. Duh. Okay. So there we go. Happy birthday to a classic. We've got two cute cards. I've decorated the inside. And then I know I pulled out two envelopes. Or my whole pack of envelopes. So let's decorate our envelope. And just do some of this collaginess. I thought about putting that ruler on the outside. Um, and then I thought that might mess up the postal workers because if you sent it in the mail, they usually put those lines to get it to where it's supposed to be going, right? All right. So I've got two cards for you. Didn't take too long. And we did some loving chopping of our paper. So remember, if you love your paper, chop it up. Um, and then December 5th, if you are a demonstrator, you can start pre-ordering and pre-earning this paper, um, anything out of the new mini catalog. So tomorrow, um, let's see, tomorrow is Saturday. I actually have a class, so I probably won't be back until the afternoon, late afternoon or evening. Um, to share more free paper. I think I'm going to do all the celebration stuff that I've pre-earned first. So um, I will post a poll. I've got two other papers and a stamp set that I pre-earned. So look for that and vote for which one you'd like to see used tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We will see you later. Have a great day.